In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a classic German apple strudel or apfelstrudel as we say in German. And I'm also going to show you that while it may look somewhat complicated, it's pretty easy and simple to make this recipe if you follow a few steps and concepts closely along. And if you know my channel, my name is Anja. I love sharing a lot of recipes and I always like to make things really simple and easy. So I'm going to show you that this recipe is just as delicious as it is easy. While there are a lot of different variations of apple strudel, whether you go to Germany or Austria, my apple strudel recipe has three parts. It has the dough. And if you've been following me along here on my channel, you might have noticed that sometimes I like to eyeball things a little bit. For the dough, I actually recommend that you stick really close to the measurements because that will give you the best results. And then we have the filling, which we're going to do after we make the dough. And I like to serve it with a warm vanilla sauce, which is just one of the many different ways how you can serve it. To a medium sized bowl or the bowl of your stand mixer, I'm adding flour, salt, a neutral vegetable oil. I am using avocado oil, some apple cider vinegar, and warm water. This recipe is almost a little small for the bowl of a stand mixer. However, I like to get it going with my stand mixer. If your dough is not quite coming together in your stand mixer, um, I like to just use a scraper and move the flour all down and mix it a little bit up. But you can easily make this recipe by hand because the amount of dough is actually pretty small. You can easily mix this dough for 10 minutes in your stand mixer and the dough should be pretty sticky. So now I'm just going to do it by hand a little bit on my kitchen counter just to stretch the gluten strands a little bit because this is all what this recipe is about. I like to form it into a smooth dough ball just like so. And then I add just a tad bit of the same oil. Swirl that around. I'm going to put some on the top here. I'll cover it very tightly with a plastic wrap. And then I will leave it in a warm spot. Actually, it is really warm outside. Right now we have about 85 degrees. So I will put this outside and the warmer the spot, the better. Obviously, you don't want to cook the dough, but um, you want it in a really warm spot. And minimum an hour, you can let it rest even longer. That will give you even better results. So we will do that. And then in the meantime, we're going to make the filling. The first part is that we will roast the breadcrumbs in butter. So that we melt the butter in a warm skillet. We add the breadcrumbs. And the idea is to roast the breadcrumbs until they're fragrant with the butter and slightly browned. Obviously, we don't want them black, but just a little bit deeper in color and flavor. And after a few minutes, I remove the breadcrumbs from the skillet and put them in a bowl and set them aside while we continue on with the filling. Now onto the apples. Actually, if you live in Southern Germany or in Austria, you might have seen that they have a specific apple variety that is particularly well suited to apple strudels and they call them strudler. However, 
here in Northern California, we have a local variety that's called Gravenstein, which is not exactly ideal for apple strudel, but it is local. It is what grows really well here in this area. So I chose to do that. In general, you want an apple variety that is more on the tart side and on the firm side so it doesn't fall apart during baking. And you also don't want a very sweet apple. So Granny Smith is always a good option here. However, the graven scenes are not particularly tart. So I am gonna show you later that I will be adding some lemon juice to make up for the missing tartness. And the first thing we need to do is the tedious job of peeling, coring, and slicing your apples. For peeling, you can either use a vegetable peeler or just a regular small knife. Now that the apples are quartered, I'm going to cut them in very thin slices into a medium sized bowl. You want them thin rather than chunky because otherwise they might poke through the very delicate strudel dough and that will poke holes in it and we don't want that. To complete the filling, we will add chopped nuts, raisins, and I'm going a little bit heavier on the raisins because I like them, adding some lemon juice, as I said before, because I feel that my apples lack a little bit of tartness, and yes, I'm seeing the seeds that I need to get out before I continue with this. And I'm not quite adding the sugar yet. I am adding the cinnamon to the sugar, and the reason that I I'm keeping the sugar out just because the sugar will draw juices and moisture out of the apples and I don't want them to get soggy quite yet so I'm not going to add the sugar quite yet to this mixture. And then we add the breadcrumbs. Mix all of that up. We'll set this aside for now. And now comes my favorite part actually of the whole apple strudel recipe and that is rolling out the dough. So here's my somewhat sticky dough and I will put some flour here on my work surface and on the dough. It is very soft and elastic which is exactly what the strudel dough needs to be. And then I like to roll it out just on my work surface into a approximate rectangle. I will set this aside for a moment. And now I'm using a kitchen towel, which I also will add some flour to. Now I will roll out the strudel dough on my kitchen towel. Also flip it over. And you can already see that it's very elastic. It's not tearing, which is perfect for the strudel dough. experienced or professional bakers can do all of this either by throwing the dough into the air or by stretching it over the backs of their hands. Now I am not that so I'm using a combination of rolling and simply stretching with my fingers and hands. You can see the tea towel through 
through the dough and that is the hallmark of a good strudel dough that it is so thin that ideally you can read a newspaper that is placed underneath or you can see the design of a kitchen towel so i'm really happy with this now's a good time to add the sugar and cinnamon to the apple mixture And before I spread that on the dough, I will brush the dough with melted butter. There'll be some butter left over, which is fine because we need that for when the apple strudel is all rolled up. Now I'm gonna dump my mixture onto just about a third of the stretched out dough. And I want to just have it on one side here. and pile it on pretty evenly. I also like to press the apples down a little bit to take any spaces out because that will make the strudel a little bit more even and easier to roll. And now comes the hardest part, the rolling of the strudel. So I'm gonna move the edges over here just a little bit. And this part and now I'm using my towel to roll it up. It's a bit like a sushi roll. And kind of press it as I go. We can tuck these in there. Now we need to somehow get it from the towel onto my parchment lined baking tray. And I have various methods. You can always enlist another person for that. So let's see how we can do this without destroying it. I'll just this in here and then roll it off the towel into my baking tray. And before I bake it, I like to brush it with some more melted butter. And I put it in the um, oven at about 400 degrees for 30, 35 minutes. And while the strudel is baking, um, it's a good time to make your vanilla sauce if you're making it from scratch. If you're watching this and you are in Germany or in Europe, you can probably buy the vanilla sauce already prepackaged in the store. However, it is pretty easy and so much more delicious if you make your own. And here's how. Adding not quite two cups, maybe a cup and three quarters of milk to a saucepan. And while this is heating, I am adding a good tablespoon of starch to the remaining milk. I scraped out half of the vanilla bean. And I have some sugar, obviously, this is to taste. And then I'm adding two egg yolks to that little mixture on the side. When the milk is pretty hot, not quite boiling, while stirring, I add my other mixture. Make sure I get all the starch from here because it likes to settle at the bottom. Just over low heat while constantly stirring and heating the sauce until it thickens.
When your apple strudel is all golden brown on top, all you need to do is just add some more melted butter, brush it right on top, and let it cool down for just a little bit. And then you sprinkle it deliberately with powdered sugar. And then all you need to do is add your hot vanilla sauce right over your apple strudel. And here it is. It's actually really simple. It's so easy and it is so good. You'll want to make it all the time. Now, I do have more German recipes, really authentic recipes, both sweet and savory, and they're right in this playlist right here. I look forward to seeing you over there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.